morning boys and girls parents teachers all welcome to st george's methodist sunday school for this the ninth day of august 2020 have you ever felt afraid or terrified by something that happened or is happening to you do you have any fears anxieties troubles and temptations if so we will tell you what you can do to overcome these fears in our Sunday school lesson today. Our theme for today is Jesus Walks on the Water. And our Sunday school lesson is by teacher Zandra Ross. Scripture reading is Matthew chapter 14 verse 31 by Jada. For this week will be by Auntie Pauline. And our activity. Boys and girls, I advise you to turn your eyes on Jesus always. Look full in his wonderful face, and you will notice that your fears will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Remember, he always has the best in mind for those who love him. Let us pray. Dear Father, we are tempted to worry about so many things. Our world is a mess. Forgive us for focusing on anything or anyone but you. Right now, Lord, I declare that you are our only hope and you are in control. So, dear God, forgive us when we think there is no hope when we think about giving in and giving up turn our eyes back to you jesus the author and finisher of our faith in jesus name amen Yeah. 
Matthew chapter 40, verses 31. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of a little faith, why did you doubt? This is the word of the Lord. Hey, wonderful good morning, girls and boys, and to all who are joining with us. Today, we give God thanks and praises, and I know that you've already done that, and so we continue to, to thank him for all that he has provided for us today. This morning, the lesson came to us from Matthew chapter 14, verses 28 to 31. And I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been to a river? Have you ever been to a river? Well, I'm sure you probably have, or maybe you haven't. But there are many here, and the river is one of my favorite places. Why? Because there are so, so many fun things to do. You can swim and fish, bathe and jump stones. Yes, you can actually jump stones. It's dangerous, but possible. Sometimes people do it to get from one side to the other, of course. Well, the most important thing to do is to keep looking at the stone. Can you imagine jumping from one stone to the other and something distracted you, like maybe a mango falling into the river? What do you think could happen? That's correct. You may miss the stone and fall into the water. Well, that's what happened to Peter in our Bible lesson for today. Instead, he took his eyes off the rock, Jesus, and Peter began to sink. He was distracted by the strong winds around him and became fearful. Let's sail together down the river as we unfold the Bible story this morning. After Jesus and his disciples were finished feeding the crowd of more than 5,000 men, women and children, his disciples were very tired. So Jesus told the disciples to get into their boat and go to the other side of the lake. Then he, said, he sent the crowds away and went to a quiet place to be alone and pray. Later that night, the disciples were disturbed by the strong winds and rough waves. But Jesus went out towards the boat to save them, and he did this by walking on the water. When the disciples saw him, they were afraid. It's a ghost, they cried. Jesus answered, Don't be afraid. Take courage, it's me. Peter called out to him, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, said Jesus. So Peter climbed out of the boat and started walking on the water towards Jesus. But when he started looking around and saw the waves being blown about by the wind, he was afraid and he began to sink. Lord, Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and caught Peter. Why did you doubt me? Jesus asked. Boys and girls, as long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was fine. But when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to sink. You and I may have some very rough moments in our lives. However, as long as we keep our eyes upon Jesus and put our trust in him, God will always take care of us. But when we take our eyes off of Jesus and focus on things around us and what's going on around us, then we will begin to sink. Let us together focus always on Jesus and remember he is always there to take care of you and me. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, when the storms of life come against us, help us to remember to keep our eyes on you and keep our faith and trust in you. We praise you for the greatness of your mercies and for reassuring us you will always be there for us. We thank you that we are in Christ and Christ in us. May we continue to trust you for all. Amen. In the light of His glory
Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in His wonderful face, and the things of earth will go strangely dim in the Someone is in a celebratory mood. Auntie Deandra is celebrating her birthday. So let's all join Didi in wishing Auntie Deandra a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hello again, boys and girls. Hello. In today's lesson, we learned about the importance of keeping our eyes on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Never let your friends or earthly possessions distract you from focusing on God. Yes. For our activity today, we are going to make a boat. Wow. I suppose most of you know how to make a boat. Mm -hmm. You will need a sheet of paper and a marker. It could be any color. Let's get started. Fold your paper in two. Fold in two. Fold in both sides to form an arrow. Then fold the bottom up on one side. Turn it over and fold the next bottom up. Mm -hmm. Open your paper. 
Okay. And fold in the next direction. Fold the bottom up. Turn it over. Fold the next bottom up. Open your open it again. And do the same thing again. Fold fold the bottom up. Turn it over, fold again. And then pull it, open it from the pull from the center to form your boat. So there you have your boat. Right on the side of your boat, I am keeping my eyes on Jesus. Now you can attach your boat to a styrofoam tree. And have fun sailing your boat. Remembering to keep your eyes on Jesus always. See you next week. Bye. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. So don't be afraid. And I saw footprints on the water, footprints on the sea, footprints on the water.